Hello there, creative minds! In this video I want to tell you about Imagine AI. This is a website you can use like a mid-journey, but it's a cheaper. Imagine AI. As you can see, you can generate like you do in mid-journey. So just type in what you interest in, what you want to see in this Imagine AI. You can choose aspect ratio, then choose the art style you're interested in high resolution of the simplest resolution and click generate as you can see there's negative prompt you can use just delete everything you don't want to see and generate your images just look at these perfect images and there is Imagine AI. So let's go to our account and the main tool is the same as Midjourney so you just take text to image but there is additional tool, the image remix, when you can reimagine your images using prompts. So as you can see, they're simple of some house and it turns into such interesting and wonderful house from another world. Uh, the next tools you will see in the nearest future is in, in painting. So you can just take something in your picture and replace it for other thing. Another tool is coming soon is expand image. Very interesting. So if you have some small images and you just want to expand to the edges, make it more and interesting, you can take this tool and use it. And there is another tool is background replace. So it's common understanding. Just replace your background and uh, your character will be in the same place. Only background remover. So let's go to our text to image. Let's generate art. And now we need to type in what we want to create with this tool. So for example, let it be. Then we can choose aspect ratio. As you see, I can use now only one by one because there is a premium version you need to buy. The next one is image and style. So there is beta version, creative, Imagine with three, the next realistic, anime style, fantasy, and let it be the anime style. High resolution for premium members, negative prompts. Negative prompts tell the AI model what you don't want to see in the generated images. When specified, it guides the generation process not to include things in the image according to the given text. So, for example, let it be no balls. Yeah, it will be interesting. Yeah, a little boy that playing in football without balls. So, let's see. Without balls. CFG scale. Uh, adjust how much the image will be like your prompt. Higher values keep your image closer to your prompt. Let's keep it the same. Step scale. Higher step value results in higher output quality, but will take a longer time. Okay, and the last one is seed. Different numbers result in a new version of your output images. So let's click generate. And here is our prompt. So pretty amazing anime style and there is almost no balls as you can see. And we can change it, for example, delete this negative prompt. Uh, and see what this Imagine AI will show us. And here is next image. As you can see, now we see this ball. Two small ball, but there is a ball in our image. And let's take and change the anime style. It was anime, just simple anime, and there is anime version 2. Okay, let's generate. Amazing image. I really like it. Really, really. So, in this case, we can full view, click full view, app scale, and now we can or delete this image or download it. Here is our image. And let's go back and check another style. Let it be realistic style. Generate. And here we go, realistic style, pretty interesting. Okay, I like it. Let's check another one. Oh, cosmic style. Yeah, it's interesting. Okay, but we can't do it because we are not uh, premium members of this website. So, unfortunately, let's take avatar style. Hmm. Okay, generate. A little boy is playing in football in avatar style. <laughs> mm, interesting, strange, really strange. <laughs> I'm not sure that this is a good idea to use this avatar style, really. 
Disney style, maybe. Avatar for this kind of prompt, uh, totally not. It looks great, really great. Let's full view, see the full view. Cool, really cool. Before we'll go to the next part, if you found this video helpful, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel to see more exciting content. And here's Imagine AI subscription page. As you can see, there's two variants of plan. The first one is $6 per week and it's a little bit higher than a mid-journey plan. But there is a, of course, popular plan. It's yearly plan, built yearly, $80 per year. So if we uh, divide $80 per 12 months, we will see $6.6 per month. And it's uh, cheaper than mid-journey. That takes at least $10 per month. And in this case, of course, you can use your images for commercial license. But if you use only free version, let's go and see. There's for our free users, while commercial use is not directly permitted, you can still enjoy generated images by giving credit to imagine and mentioning our platform while using the images in any capacity. So this is a vital thing. Don't forget, you can't sell your images that you generate in Imagine Art in Midjourney for free and sell it. No only commercial users. So if you want to sell your images, you need to subscribe. In Midjourney, it's minimum $10 per month. In this case, it's $6.6 .6 per month if you paid a yearly subscription. So I showed you the alternative for the Midjourney. So you can use Imagine AI, you can still use Midjourney, whatever you want. And this time Midjourney on the first place. I mean, if someone tells you about AI generated images, first you think about is Midjourney. But there is a lot of different websites that the similar to Midjourney but cheaper and they can do the same as Midjourney and sometimes it's better. And it's cool, the more offers, the more competitors and maybe in future they will decrease their price for us. So if you want to know more about other tools instead of Midjourney, then let me know in the comments below this video and I will tell you more about them. If you want to master your prompt skills, I recommend watching this video next. In this video you will figure out how to use different prompt styles in Midjourney, but at the same way you can use it for other AI generated platforms. So I hope this video was helpful for you. If yes, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and wish you a good luck and hope I will see you in the next video. Bye bye!